What's going on saviors? GH here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I believe is the best free-to-play MMORPG of 2021. If you're new to the channel, I've been playing MMORPGs for a while and I've seen most of them. So I guess it's time for me to show you guys the best free-to-play MMORPGs i played. So if you're looking for an MMORPG to play in 2021 today or maybe in 2022, you're in the right place. And with that said, let's do this! First up, Guild Wars 2. I played this right around February and it was a blast. It's a shame that I couldn't dive deeper into the game because of some of the issues I've experienced about the publisher of the game. Regardless, Guild Wars 2 is one of the most content rich MMORPG I checked out this year. At the start, I remember being confused on what to do because the quest system is not the usual way it's approached. But when I got into the group on how it all works, the game became enjoyable. Now the combat is surprisingly engaging even though it's tab targeting because you will not feel rooted at all. Guild Wars 2 has a nice story, great PvE and a surprisingly active PvP in endgame. If you wanna check out Guild Wars 2, the details are on the screen. Next on our list on the best free to play MMORPG is Soul Worker. I'm a big fan of anime MMORPGs and Soul Worker is as anime MMORPG as it gets. I know some of you doesn't consider instance hub based game as an MMORPG but if you look at it closely, it's MMO and there's RPG elements which makes it a… you guessed it. Soul Worker from the start is admittedly riddled with a lot of conversations that let's face it, most of us don't read it anyway but nonetheless. The nice anime world in action-packed combat made the game entertaining. At the start of the game, you can choose from a variety of characters with their own story so there's plenty full of story here because there's a lot of characters to choose from. There's also a large PvE content with a myriad of dungeons. You're gonna be fighting bosses which gets harder and harder as you progress in the game. And if you wanna check out Soul Worker, it's on Steam. Next up is a cross-platform MMORPG and it's Albion Online. It's available on PC via Steam and it's also available in mobile devices. The main thing that I like about Albion Online is the crafting of my own gears which I will then sell or use for conquering foes. Albion Online will pretty much run on any kind of spec on PC, except if you're using a PC from the 90s. I mean, why are you using a PC from the 90s? Anyway, Albion Online features a sandbox MMORPG in which you can write your own story. Yeah, here we go again. But seriously, the key features of the game is the player driven economy, from basic tools and clothes to mighty armors and weapons. Now another thing about the game is there is no classes, no restrictions. This could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on who's you're asking so I figured I gotta let you know before you dive deep into the game. And if you do wanna dive deep in the world of Albion Online, the details are on the screen. The next MMORPG is close to my heart and it's Ragnarok Online. This is the MMORPG of my childhood, the MMORPG that took about a decade of my life, maybe more. Yes, this is still one of the best free to play MMORPG to play in 2021 and on to 2022. And the reason I'm not currently playing and covering the game is because when the new server of the game is released, I'm not even sure if the server available will even last one year. And turns out, it might actually last for a while. And I'm talking about the RO Prime server. Go check it out guys. It's slightly different from the previous classic server. But the new approach to leveling wherein you just go to the hotspots where people congregate and just join up for party leveling. I seriously like the addition of that thing. It just makes it easier to get into the game. Next up is a personal preference. But listen, the MMORPG I'm talking about is Secret World. It's a story driven MMORPG that takes you into a supernatural world. I consider this one of the best free to play game out there cause the story alone is good enough. It's free. It doesn't matter even if you're alone all the time, just play the game for the story. There's a lot of things to do in the game. The character customization is deep and there's a lot of classes to choose from and you may even try a different faction for a different kind of experience. And maybe have fun when you see another lost soul playing secret world and be like hey 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 there's a guy playing secret world oh my god this is so rare <laughs> there's another player 
I'm just kidding. There are people playing the game, but most of them are at the end game. I really wish Secret World made it, cause I like the look and feel and the overall atmosphere of the game. I hope they do another kind of effort to revive the game, maybe advertise it regularly. Coming up is Alchemia Story. First of all, I would like to say that this is a mobile MMORPG, but this is an MMORPG nonetheless. Alchemist Story is a turn-based anime MMORPG with a lot of cutscenes at the start, which is admittedly kinda annoying because the starting experience is full of conversations that's not even the bulk of the experience in the game. So be warned, the start of the game is full of boring conversations that you will surely skip. But if you get past that, you will be presented with a turn-based combat and an anime world wherein you can sit and chat with your friends and do your cosplaying all day. I know that's what most of you want. An anime world where you can explore, do combat. I mean dude, it's a strategy turn based free to play anime world in the palm of your hands. Next game is Path of Exile. I know some of you are sick and tired of me saying that Path of Exile is a good game but trust me, it's good and it's free. Another good thing about it is you can play it on your consoles too. Path of Exile is an online action RPG set in a dark world of Rayclast. You will have loads of fun when starting out in PoE, but I do acknowledge that the talent tree is confusing at the start because you might be worried you will do wrong, but there's a lot of guides out there. The game has a fairly steep learning curve, but as I've said, there are guides on the net to help you out, and if you're concerned about the balance of the game right now, I must say that balancing is always difficult to do. But there's a variety of viable builds which can bring forth unique and fun gameplay experience. Next game is Sword Art Online Integral Factor. If you like me and the others who keeps googling Sword Art Online MMORPG, well this is it, but it's on mobile devices though. But I tell you, Sword Art Online Integral Factor will give you the anime MMORPG experience you're looking for. As far as I can tell, the game is not auto-played, and if mobile devices isn't your thing, you can play it on an emulator, if you really don't want a game on your mobile device. Sao Integral Factor offers the Sword Art Online world to explore, but I must say this, the combat is action, but it's a bit clunky though because of the mobile controls. When I tried it a few months ago, I was sincerely expecting a crappy auto-played MMORPG that barely resembles Sword Art Online, but I was wrong. It's a complete decent MMORPG in the world of Sword Art Online, and if you're a fan of the franchise, then I recommend that you check this one out. Second to the last best free to play MMORPG is Star Wars The Old Republic. It's another MMORPG rich in story and content, and it's all done in the Star Wars universe. It's been a while since I played it, but what I could recollect is I really enjoyed the story conversations in the game because it's surprisingly interesting. And yeah, I also remembered a lot of walking. I guess that's a con. Playing Star Wars in 2021 didn't fail me because everything I wanted in an MMORPG is here. And if you're looking for an MMORPG with a lot of story and you're a fan of Star Wars, you might want to go check this one out. The last MMORPG on our list is Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis, and Base PSO2. Among all the MMORPG on the list, this is the MMORPG I recommend the most because I believe that it will even get better although it might take another year for this to truly be the MMORPG that most people want. PSO2 NGS honestly will give you at most a week or a month of free content to consume but the base version of the game will give you even more to do. But if you're like me, who's only interested in the new Genesis version, then patience is needed. Yes, even with the upcoming Rhythm region update, PSO2 New Genesis will still be devoid of content because that's how they designed it in the first place so that you will have to check out the base version too. Regardless, the Rhythm region update will be amazing for true PSO2 New Genesis fans like me. And if you wanna hop in and check out what it's all about, I'm playing on Ship 1. See you there. And those are the best free-to-play MMORPG I checked out in 2021. 
And if you have any more questions, just ask in the comments. I hope all of you are having fun playing games. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.